Hello everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of This is the Police. I am Dev the Sunny Panda and uh, let's get started. I hope everyone's having a great day um, and yeah, just enjoying life. We are enjoying life as the Chief of Police of Freeburg City. We are on day 16, July 30th and we've been doing well recently. I know we have had some bad days and we have had um, lots of misfortunate events but at least the last three days have been fine-ish, uh, so not too bad. We're trying to gain confidence back from the city and also the town hall because we need favors from uh, the mayor. Anyways, the Golden Bird reports businessmen express desire to leave city. Wow. Okay, Freeburg Tribune reports reports 86% of residents oppose demolition of Corn Monument. I somehow don't believe that. And the fact reports movie production studio may appear in Freeburg. I always see the fact reporting more positive news compared to the other two newspapers. But I think we need we need all different outlets, right? We need a positive news outlet, we need a negative news outlet. Alright. Um do we give out a stripe? I feel Austin deserves a stripe. Because he's been doing really well recently. And he's, he's, he seems like a young man dedicated to keeping the streets of Freeburg um, clean. And I see, I see a future police chief in him. So I'm going to go ahead and give the stripe to Austin. And that's going to give him a huge boost of experience, um, making him a senior to even Yancey. And he deserves that. I, I think he deserves that. So let's get started. Mm, do we do we put on some tunes today? No, I say we go for we go for a play, right off the bat, hoping hoping to be a good day again. Um, you can hire one more police officer, which is great. So we need we need uh, female officers within three days. Half of our force sh should be female officers. Um, but I don't know if we. I think shift A is staffed fine. Uh, shift B also has the same amount of officers on roll uh, so let's uh, let's go for shift a so that she can report in right from tomorrow uh, Nicole Smith you're hired for shift a that's great um, we can put in a new request probably no in four days okay um, we could fire some of our officers and hire female officers but I don't think that's going to be worth it um, the Sands need our help. Uh, Christopher G. Sand, the Sand family's main attorney, is under guard around the clock, and that goes double for his children. But before we could pick them up from school this morning, some of Vargas' punks kidnapped them. Oh, come on, don't include kids in this war of yours. Uh, we don't know how Varga found them. They live under false names. Anyway, you'll need to act quickly. They can't have gotten far. I'm going to send Asano and Koenig to this task for the sands so we're helping them with the sands we'll help out the varga we'll help out the sands and we'll keep varga one up today just because we have promised to be on his side i don't want to end up dead otherwise who's going to clean up the streets of freeburg a fight in freeburg elementary school two senior students began to fight right in the middle of chemistry class the teacher dolores ponter <laughs> First tried to calm them down, but when she attempted to separate them, she was poked in the eye. Ouch. I think Austin is um, is w a one-man army. He's going to handle this uh, fight between two students. No biggie for him. Um, we have a theft at the Museum of Feelings and Fine Art. What a museum. At night... A little-known painting by Dutch master De Vroom, recently shown for the first time, disappeared from the museum. Oh. One of the museum's windows was broken and there's, there's, there's a brick lying on the floor inside. Mm, breaking and entering. Alright, Armstrong, Armstrong takes the lead and Maul is um, as support. And if we get another investigation, we'll remove Maul from there and make her the lead. Just because she has more energy than the Brito. 
Lots of calls in today. It's a busy day. Drug sales at St. John's Hospital. Miss Dunbar said that a nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doc doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complaining about the pain and waited until the doctor left. Then she started telling me about the pills she could get me. Better than we could in, according to her. Hmm. This seems like a... This seems like an actual incident because... Uh, I don't want to think of this as a false alarm. It's, this actually seems like someone selling illegal meds or drugs. So let's send out Officer Kochi and Strubaki. Uh, the fight report, Austin was able to catch the offenders. Officers were unharmed and he's leveled up. He's just a hero. Um, he's, he's the hero for Shift B. After the terrible incident, incident with Officer B who got killed by um, a chainsaw wielding maniac. Not even really chill, so it was sawmill. Austin has ever since stepped up to the plate, stepped up to his shoes, and just been amazing. So we got some uh, some people talking about the theft at the um, museum. So Raffle Campos, the museum guard, says, "I walk the museum every hour. The alarm is off. City Hall won't unlock it. The money to fix it." Typical city hall. I didn't hear the glass breaking. It's a big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already early morning. The window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame. There was no trace of anyone around, just a brick lying on the floor. The parking lot camera was empty all night. In the morning, a cyclist went past with a tube on his shoulder. The, the guy slowly rolled into the parking lot, then left the bike for a couple of minutes and went out of sight. Then he came back, got on a bike, and left. Mr. Vanderhof, uh, an art school student, said, I suffer from insomnia and often go cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment so I wouldn't have to go back home before my morning classes at art school. I stopped at the museum to pee. What? I admit it, I like to mark the corner of the building. I imagine one day my work will be hanging inside. Mr. Vanderhof, what the actual hell. Uh, Mr. Stevens, the teacher at the art school, says in his lectures on the works of the Dutch masters, Bram van der Hoff always sharply criticized the works of De Vroom. He dismissed the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when an unknown De Vroom painting was discovered in the city dump. He said it was already in its proper place. This is so salty. He was less amused when he heard when he learned that De Vroom painting would be hung in the museum. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Bram who broke into the museum and stole the painting to burn it or cut it to tiny pieces. Mm. Museum window. window. The glass is almost completely broken out. A grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most of the shards are lying on the pavement outside the museum. That's weird. Because if a brick was thrown in, shouldn't there be majority of the pieces should be inside not outside so this brick was probably thrown out and then kept placed in hmm interesting we'll let our detectives work on the case uh, and hopefully they get us some clues soon uh, Vikaswaga says one of our guys broke into an apartment that Sand owns the owner returned home said something was wrong and pulled a gun a man is still hiding somewhere inside. We could just go in there and get him, but it would help if the police could create a distraction. Why are we glorified bodyguards in this war? We are supposed to keep the peace in the cities, but we have to help end up helping out these mafia goons. Um, and if we don't help them out, we get killed. We, there's no choice we have. Oh my goodness. The nurse was trying to sell cocaine. What kind of a nurse would do that? Offender caught, officers unha unharmed. Um, good job, Officer Kochi and Subaki. Get back and we'll bring it to the police station. I know we can make big cash by selling it, uh, but I don't want to have drugs and guns out in the street. So Cornelius Blunt, um, so many half Harry Potter names, it's amazing. Cornelius Blunt says, Mr. Boyd, 
I am a wealthy man and I am concerned about the fate of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officer positions at your police department, but I must make one condition. My adopted adopted son is to take one of the new jobs. Of course, you must mustn't fire him under any circumstances. Do we have a deal? We get three slots and we can hire more female officers. That's great. Oh, this is his um. This is his um, adopted son, Salik Percy, and he seems to have alcohol problems and he's very tired. What the hell, Alex Percy? Um, anyways, uh, we need female officers, but we don't seem to have any on the market. Like someone looking for a job, there's no. Th we. Hired Nicole, but apart from her, there's no other female officer on the roster that we can hire. That's disappointing. Maybe tomorrow? We'll have a look at it tomorrow. Okay, the Sands need our help. Some goon gra some Christopher G. Sands says some goons grabbed the half-sister of one of our family members right off the street. Her driver called us from a nearby payphone, but he's a wimp and couldn't actually do anything. From the description we got, it sounds like Varga's men. If you get there first, hold on to them for us. Don't hurt them too much. Just make sure you don't let them escape. We have something special planned for them. No, I'm not helping you, San. I'm helping the Vargas and getting them one up today. Um, and that just seems like a cruel thing to do. And exactly what I'm against doing. Glorified bodyguards. We aren't going to help you uh, hurt each other. But I may have to help them. Like That's one of the things that I'm not so happy with. I can't select. No, I'm not going to help anyone. A robbery in the city center. A parking valet just called in. Reporting that a girl exiting an expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood. Who threatened her and took her bag. Alright. Officer Flores and Officer Yancey. Off you go. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with Percy. He seems like a terrible choice for anything out there. Just five professionalism and a drinking problem. A robbery report. Officer Flores caught the uh, and Yancy caught the offender and they're unharmed, which is great. Um, assault with an offensive weapon. A diamond dog's state penitentiary. An older prisoner. Tired of eating the food served by the prison cafeteria, made his way into the kitchen carrying a shiv. Intent on having a word with the chef, a guard called the police as he was reluctant to enter the kitchen for fear of further provoking the prisoner. Alright, um, we'll send out Officer Austin as lead, Officer Subaki and... That should, that should be fine, it's just one prisoner, but it could lead out to a full-blown issue with involving multiple prisoners so we'll send three officers why not Austin as lead and Subaki and Asano as backup um, I'm not hiring any new police officers today because we hope that there's a refresh in the cat uh, in the uh, what do you call it roster and that we can hire more female officers tomorrow to complete the assignment by City Hall but I think by tomorrow we may just end up uh, losing that assignment too um, assault with an offensive weapon. The kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and an overturned pan filled with muddy slush. Ah, uh, the elderly prisoner is sitting on a stool, dipping his hand into the pot of slush and shoving it towards the cook's face, yelling, "You tried to eat the shit, you maniac!" He didn't yell the maniac. That's just what something I added. But I can understand why he's angry. He wants proper food, and that's his right. Um, you're lucky you get fed at all. Wow, that's that's really passive aggressive. Hey, we've got a couple of nice warm burgers here. Let's cook up something else. Only takes a minute. Let's let's tempt him. <laughs> Austin tempted the old man. That's that's actually uh, sad in a way. But we caught the offender. Officers un unharmed and civilians are unharmed. Good job. Good job, Officer Austin Sabaki and Asano. Uh, we are going to help one up the Warga, so we are going to send out Percy for this, but let me read this out first. Today we welcome some new recruits into our ranks. While we were performing the initiation ceremony, we had one man standing lookout. Sans people rushed the poor guy, set him on fire, and are standing there watching th him die in agony. Someone has to do something to stop this. This is barbaric. Koenig and Percy, out you go. Uh, oh my 
Good lord, they're just burning a person and watching him die while laughing like maniacs. I guess that's what you expect from the Mafia, don't you? Especially someone like the Sands. That's why I wanted, um... I wanted a shift so that the Vargas uh, take up and there's like a change. Okay, so we got three frames. Uh, there's a museum. Doubt I think it's doubting the museum guard, isn't it? Campus. Uh, but there's only three frames. We need five frames. So, we'll let them continue on with the investigation. Um, meanwhile, uh, Koenig and Percy just attended the call where the person was being burned alive. I hope that's enough to spook Percy and he just quits. Uh, because he tr he doesn't have the he doesn't have the nerves to handle day to day police job. Look at his professionalism. He doesn't have it in him. Okay, the Sands are four and Vargas are five. So I have made the Vargas lead today. And I'll balance it out again tomorrow or maybe make the Sands lead tomorrow. Um, just to make sure that the Sands don't end up killing me. And look at him. First day on the job and he's already dead. Uh, out of energy almost. Day 17, July 31st, the Wednesday. Uh, citizens' earning, earnings have fallen 9% since New Year. Oh, that's, that's bad. Um, former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. Hmm. Uh, unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Mm. So I think the fact is owned by the mayor or something. It it seems to always favor something that that it it seems to just favor him and the government he's running. Like the uh, there's a big sale going on today and I don't want to miss it. Can I have the day off? No, Robbins. Um, Stovall, I'm too tired. Yeah, you can go. I'm I've been seeing you tired for the last four days. Just go. Let's start the day. And we'll put on some tunes today. I think I should buy something too. But I'll uh, look into it later. I'll look into that later. Um, let's... I think we've played this already multiple times. We haven't played the second track. So let's um, let's play Bud Meets Bob. And uh, we uh, start our... The next day as the Freeburg Police Chief. Right off the bat. Um... Hire female cops. Tomorrow is the deadline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I hope I, I have some new per... No, I don't. What's this? Come on. This is... Hmm. We have Samuel Williams, Samuel Reed, Caleb Forney, and George Crombie. But we don't have any other options here. I think it was a bad idea to not hire anyone yesterday. Maybe we would have got... Uh, we would have got a refresh. All right, we'll hire Samuel for shift B and Samuel Reed for shift A. Why not? Both the Samuels, welcome to the police force. We're going to miss the deadline. I don't think we have half the police force uh, as women officers. Anyways, decidedly conduct on the suburb. The elderly Emma Weston, I was going to say Weston, uh, Watson, Emma Weston called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noises. Through the window, she also saw people moving around. It must be a party of some sort. Alright, Robbins, you wanted to go to the sale today, but no, you have to attend this disorderly conduct call. First thing off, and Grant. Robbins and Grant, off they go. I think one officer would be fine here, but there may be an unruly crowd of let's say four to five people so two officers going out better chances of uh, controlling that crowd at least in my opinion uh, a hostage situation with the fatal casualty oh no this is at the broadwell asylum patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast oh no three nurses have been wounded while others remain locked in with the patients in the dining area. They've threatened to kill one nurse every hour until they're released. Wow, the asylum just... Okay, Gibbons, you're at lead. Vandal, Samadhi, and Smith, along with the SWAT and the paddy wagon. You are sending out the whole force, except Burke Jr. Because I believe if I send out Burke Jr., he'll just lower the capability of all officers and get them all killed. Uh, disorderly conduct, offender caught, officers unharmed, Good job, Robinson Grant. Get back quick so that we have you here if we want to respond to other calls. 
Uh, do we have any ongoing investigation? Yeah, just three frames of each. Um, destruction of property. I think we can have... Um, we can have one of the detectives move from... Oh, this is for the other shift. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. That's for the other shift. It's not for this shift at all. Uh, for this shift, there's just one investigation going on. And I don't know why we don't have more detectives on it. We can have Porter uh, just assist and get this case solved quick. Okay, we're going to we're going to up one up the Varga today uh, just to keep him happy. Mr. Varga introduced us to a man named Bob. Bob can get us any weapons we want, so we like Bob. But his neighbors just called saying they saw some strange men in his house. One of them carrying a knife. We want to keep Bob alive. Is that the sort of thing the police can help us with? We can definitely help you, but I need one of my men back. Um, hostage situation, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a call in, they're asking the chief of police, that's me, what they should do. The officers at the ground say, reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building, the asylum patients are watching and, are watching the growing crowd from the windows on the third floor. Gain entrance to the back door, storm the front door, call in a negotiator. Hmm. We'll gain entrance to the back door. Offenders caught officers unharmed civilians unharmed good job good job just sneaking in the back was probably the smartest thing to do because i don't think how well negotiations would have gone um okay so we're going to send out bert jr and grant to help save bob because they like bob uh, so we are saving bob the builder hopefully he's the builder Maybe that's his that's his name, you know. He's the builder who supplies weapons to the mafia. Um, most likely not. Uh, reckless endangerment in city center. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the streets shouting, Beware our string stings. They were chasing passersby and swinging their blades at them. They have not yet done anyone harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. What the hell? What the actual hell? People running around with swords claiming that they're stings, like they're going to sting them. Holy shit. Robbins, Vandal, and Samadhi. Off you go. I don't want anyone of them to get stabbed, so that's why I'm sending out three officers to respond to this. There's two people swinging swords. I mean, easily they could stab one of our officers or maybe first decapitate them in some way. So, all three of them, they should be able to handle it. Yeah. Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Good job. Uh, I didn't know if the civilians unharmed would come up. I just read it out before it even came up. But I knew there was going to be civilians involved. Good job. Or Robin Swendal and Samadhi did well. All right. The Sands need our help. Uh, an old friend is visiting Mr. Sand. And they're planning on going horseback riding. But the owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense. But it sounds like some punks are beating Mr. Sand's horse to death. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is um, a horse being involved in this mafia war? All right, off you go. Um, we can also, you know, we, we have uh, at the police station, we have... Um, there, here's where we can see our assignments. Okay, great, that's good to know. Um... Where's the deputy? Ah, oh, yeah, a deputy is here. Um, we can hire a snitch to gather paid information for you, which is probably good. We should have a snitch in both um, both our um, both our shifts, so that we know uh, who is going to do what. Um, I think, like, if somebody is going to rat us out, we need a snitch. Somebody will be our snitch for shift A and we'll hire a different snitch for shift B. Just to get information on our officers if someone is unhappy with us or someone's just figured out that we are in cahoots with the mafia. Uh, the Vargas need help. Uh, after Sand smashed up all our sports car, Mr. Varga promised us new ones. Today the first of them arrived at the port. He wanted to go pick them up but some assholes locked Tommy in his car and picked it up in the air with the crane. Tommy shouting like he thinks he's about to die. I'm sorry, Tommy may have to die because we are going to keep um, the Sands one up today. I think I've helped the Sands more. Maybe not. I don't know. Have I have I one up the Sands? Mm. 
A noise complaint in the ghetto. Kim Klim Urif reports that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and his three sons can't concentrate on their homework. Mr. Urif urges someone's got to show these bandits who's boss. I honestly feel that showing them who's boss is the wrong attitude to go by, but what they're doing isn't right either. So we'll send Robbins as lead with um, Samadhi, Smith and Grant, and we'll send the paddy wagon as well. Um, because there's a crowd, the crowd needs to be controlled, and the paddy wagon is going to help with that. Um, so we're not helping out the Vargas with this... Um, with this what's his name T Tommy issue of theirs we let them we let Tommy just brave it out if he dies I'm sorry Tommy uh, the police did what they could do for you they just couldn't afford to waste their resources on saving you uh, noise complaint offender caught officers unharmed good job I, oh my lord we found automatic weapons that's what the big bags were for I'm so glad I sent out four officers all right, we'll we'll bring it back to the police station. Uh, the Sands need help. A whole mob of Vargas people attacked a truck belonging to one of our companies. This truck is carrying some important cargo, the kind only Mr. Sand and his deputies know about. The driver tried calling us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. You've got to stop these assholes before they make off with the goods. I don't know if I have one up to our guy. I don't want to two up him. Um, I'll just see. I'll just see. I completely lost him. Uh, oh, here we have more frames for destruction of property. Um, so, yeah, he had the helmet, which was... Oh, there's, a conf there's conflicting helmets here, but I think we have enough frames to solve this. Um, so he drove straight through... So he drove straight through... Um, the doors of God's temple and began running around so we have him driving in and he was running around he has hair he's not bald this seems make it seem like he's bald uh, or not bald rather with the white helmet uh, or cracked helmet um, all right let's 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 uh, the guy drove between reviews almost crushing a punisher he then uh, I think we are still missing some frames. Yeah, we are still missing some relevant frames. So what I'm going to do is, I don't think I can change the... Can I change the lead detective? No, I can't change the lead detective. So Portrait will just have to work as a supporting detective. Uh, and our actual lead isn't, isn't working too well. And the frames coming in are too slow. But we can't do anything about that now. We just have to go with it and let them do their work, take their time. All right, we're going to end our day here. And hopefully, yeah, we no, we kept the Vargas one up. Okay, so we really need to... Vargas is one up two days in a row. We need to equalize it with Sands tomorrow. Otherwise, we're dead. We're, 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 we're meat in the ground. So we're going to end the day and I'm going to stop the video here. We'll continue day 18, the first month of August. Uh, next time, leave me a comment. I would love to interact with you. Inter interact with you uh, and let me know how you're enjoying the series. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.